Republican Congressman Steve Stivers of Ohio, and he is the chairman of the National Republican Campaign Committee, the NRCC, and the person responsible for uh, getting House Republicans elected and perhaps keeping the majority. Congressman Stivers, welcome back. Hey, Chuck. Uh, let me start with something John Cornyn said today. He said, look, I don't begrudge his decision, referring to Speaker Ryan, although I do think this creates another element of uncertainty in the lead up to the 2018 election. Fair statement? I, I think that's probably fair. I mean, it, it creates uncertainty, but I can say, just like uh, I'm from Columbus, Ohio, just like our Ohio State Buckeyes don't have to rebuild, they just reload. That's what's going to happen here. We've got two incredible other leaders who are ready to step up. Uh, when the time is right. And until then, there's not going to be a leadership race because Paul Ryan's going right. to stay and do the job. And I think he will continue to do the job well. He's got a great network of people that want right. to support him, that will support him. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. But I, I think it's all going to work out. A sitting Speaker of the House is an important fundraiser. Um, and he's been an extraordinarily important fundraiser. Suddenly, you know, donors are thinking, you know, the way these money guys work and, and, you know, they think, well, you've got nothing to offer me anymore. You're going to be there. Why should I show up to your fundraiser? Does this set you back a little bit fi financially? Well, I, you know, it is true. Paul Ryan has raised $40 million of our $115 million that we've raised so far. But uh, I can tell you that Paul Ryan hasn't been selling himself. He's been selling you know, a vision, an agenda, and the people that believed in that agenda yesterday believe in it today, and they'll believe in it tomorrow, and I believe they'll keep supporting our team. And uh, we've got, you know, our, our leader, Kevin McCarthy, and our whip, Steve Scalise, who are ready to, I think, pick up the slack and continue to I was just going to gonna say, do you view the them team. as, are they basically now, they're your chief national fundraisers together? Is that, is that sort of how this is going to work going forward? I think they will both pick up some slack, and I think a lot of other members will pick up slack. And frankly, uh, mm -hmm. Paul Ryan told me at a private meeting today he's going to continue to uh, work every day, including raising money. And I believe there are a lot of people that will continue to give Paul Ryan money, whether he's speaker or just somebody who they believe in and they believe in our agenda. And, uh, I, you know, I think that we'll make up the difference and it'll all work out. You know, Congressman Dennis Ross today said, it, when he announcing his retirement, he said, well, I always was going to serve here 10 years, but now it, he cut it down to eight. Um, let me ask you this. The conversations that you probably are ha that you probably have had and maybe having with other members who are on the fence and now the speaker's leaving. It, what's that conversation like now? If you've got somebody on the fence and you're like, you know, I really need you to run. We have an easier time holding this seat. If you run for reelection and this is important. And then they say, well, the speaker's not running and that seat's now more in play. What do you say? Well, well, it's true that uh, if these people, if our incumbents run, we have a better chance to win. And that doesn't matter whether the speaker runs or not. The speaker made a decision for his family. It wasn't about mm -hmm. Washington, D.C. It was about Janesville, Wisconsin and his kids. And uh, and that's OK. But, uh, you know, everybody's in a different place and they have to do what works for them. Uh, I never push back too super hard because people are going to make the choices that they want to make anyway, but mm -hmm. I try to make sure that they understand that they're part of a very important team, that 300 million people around this country are depending on them to help us move the country in the right direction. And, and uh, you know, most people have decided to run for re-election, and there are a few who've decided to uh, do something else, but I am convinced that there won't be the, a lot of other retirements coming, Chuck. Okay, but you, you, don't, I, you don't rule out that more may, may come, but you think you'll keep it under 10? Oh, I think for sure. I, you know, I, I thought there'd be potentially two more. I knew about Dennis. He and I had been talking since January, right. and uh, he was on my list. And unfortunately, before I got a chance to talk to him today, he texted me uh, and said he was going to make his announcement today. Uh, and then I had three other people I talked to, and all three told me they're running for re-election. Uh, but I can say there are people who've told me they're running for re-election and later announced they're not. So you, Ryan you just Costello never know. being being the most prominent, and you had a. You, you I never you know had... until they file, yes. Right. You never know. Yeah. Uh, let me ask you about what to run on here. Uh, three months ago, you guys were convinced you were going to be able to run on this tax cut. Um, in some ways, the, the, the news environment, the issue environment has shifted. In some ways, the president has helped shift it with the tariff conversation. But also the news that we now have trillion-dollar deficits uh, for the foreseeable future. Uh, I, you and a lot of other Republican incumbents ran on the debt. And now here you're having to run for reelection with a trillion dollar deficit um, going forward. 
That's a tough thing to, to sell voters on. What do you sell? Well, how, do you, how do you explain that? Well, and we're going to be talking about economic growth and the tax reform package, the tax cut package is about economic growth. And I think economic growth can make some of that up. But we also need to be good fiscal stewards. That's why we're having a vote on the balanced budget amendment. And frankly, I've been an advocate of the balanced budget amendment a long time. I'm yeah. going to be an advocate of the balanced budget amendment until we get it in the Constitution, uh, no matter how it happens, whether it happens right. through the Congress or through the states. And uh, I think that uh, what happens in Washington are right. the things that have to happen. And Very quickly, until today, yep. Yeah, do you think it's a good idea if Republicans in the House have to vote again on whether to rescind some of the spending that they voted for just two months ago? Well, I think, uh, you know, lots of presidents have sent rescissions back to Congress. Um, President Obama did not do it very often. Neither did George W. Bush, but George H. W. Bush and Bill Clinton did hundreds of them. Mm -hmm. uh, and some of the rescissions may not even have been things that were in the bill we just passed, but they're money that are sitting in accounts okay. that have been, been appropriated that maybe we should take away. So, uh, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a direct change from what we just passed. But there's money sitting there, and if it's not going to be used or it doesn't make a, sense or we think we shouldn't do it, I'm, I think rescissions are an a, important part of what we can do. Sounds like it's a tough vote to explain, though. Maybe, but it's, uh, I don't think it will be when, they, when we actually have the actual rescissions because we'll be talking about what those items are and right. why we don't want to spend on them. Okay. Steve Sivers, uh, NRCC chair, uh, Republican from Ohio. Thanks for coming on, sharing your views, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.